Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options coming to you with the morning market preparation video for March 20th, 2018. Well, doggone it, yesterday we kind of created some serious technical damage in um, a couple of charts. So first off here in the diamonds, you can see we gave up this uptrend gave up the bottom side of that wedge we um, at, at, at one point in the day gave up this major support luckily we re did recover that support before the end of the day and managed to hold on now it's going to be really critical here that we see the bulls defend this area if if we get some follow through selling uh, and lose this support right here, I think we're going to be in serious trouble here on the on the diamonds. So kind of keep that in mind. Stay really focused to price action here. Remember, we're still below that 25,000, that important 25,000 mark. We're also below the 50 day moving average. So we're in a full on bearish appearance here. Now, a failure at the 50 day moving average can easily lead to new lows. So watch out if we, if we were to fail through this area, I would expect we're probably going to lose this support of this price low here, which means um, we're really not that far away at that point. Uh, making an attack of the 200 day moving average so be really really careful here and a little bit cautious as you move forward fear of the FOMC really uh, is probably irrational at the moment but that doesn't matter remember uh, the market can remain irrational much longer than you can stay liquid. So the important part for you to remember is don't trade on emotion. Get focused in on what the chart is telling you. And and if you're, if you're allowing your bias to stick with the trade longer than you uh, really should when you look at the technicals of the chart, then you really need to do a better job with your trade planning. So kind of keep that in mind as you move forward here. It's We're in a little bit of a dangerous situation at the moment. Currently, we're seeing the futures trying to push us back up slightly. That would be a good thing. If we can recover you know, this, um, this uptrend, if we can recover and hold above that, then uh, that technical damage can be reversed very quickly. So we need to see those bulls step in and really defend, push us right back up into here um, so that we have a chance of moving higher and not giving those bears that edge that they want to uh, drive those fears into panic uh, and really drop this market pretty hard. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also technical damage here giving up this support level is very important also giving up the you know the uptrend here closing below that uptrend not a good thing and also keep in mind we have failed back down through that 50 day moving average creating a significant resistance up here now so we need a good move by those bulls to recover this and hold in that area uh, or we could see some serious damage get created here in this chart um, the Q's managed to hold on to their 50-day moving average but clearly gave up their trend now it's going to be up to those bulls to really defend this hard and see if we can Well, to see if we can recover, recover that trend, recover this little bit of a price support, that's going to be extremely important um, for them to do. If we were to happen um, to rally back up here now, you can see it, it wouldn't be that big of a stretch to see a rally back to a failure point here now on uh, the queues. Um, obviously not what we want to see. We want to see this hold on and recover some of those support levels. IWM also tested the 50-day moving average and also tested this major support area right here. Now, IWM fared better than the rest of the market yesterday, recovering significantly after that, and now showing a little bit of follow-through here on IWM. 
so perhaps IWM is is going to um, maybe give us a chance to lead us out of this mess. We'll have to wait and see. But a pop-up here this morning, um, follow-through of a big hammer off of support. We need that follow-through white candle here to maybe suggest that IWM has more upside in it. Notice it's held onto its trend. Okay, so we're the, it's the only index so far to hold on to its trend. Kind of interesting. It's been the weakest index of the year, uh, or I mean the last couple of years, and now it's showing some strength here over and above the other indexes. Let's take a look at the VIX. Oops. The VIX popped up here showing fear yesterday, significant fear, rallying us up and closing up 20%. Obviously, it was up much more than that, um, you know, during the day. But this is holding a support level and also holding that 50-day moving average. So we managed to pull back and close below this trend line now you could draw that trend line in several places if you don't like that one move it around a little bit but closing below that trend line that is in my eyes a good thing as long as we don't get follow through to the upside we need to see a failure at this point okay so kind of keep an eye on that if we take a look at t2122 t2122 is suggesting to us that we've moved back down here toward that bullish reversal zone so we do have that chance we, we could move certainly lower here but we do have that chance of anywhere in this area those bulls stepping back in to try and defend those support areas so uh, keep that in mind remember we have that FOMC meeting coming up and the announcement will not be until Wednesday afternoon so all of those fears, all of those jitters are still here in the market. Uh, for me, I'm kind of expecting um, the possibility of some really violently choppy price action today. With uh, the with, uh, volatility rising, um, we could see some really wider range chop occur in here. Now, if the bulls or bears happen to gain a, a, the upper hand in here, we could see some big moves. But keep in mind that a chop would not be out of the question. Clear up to the um, FOMC announcement on Wednesday afternoon. So... Um, going to be some challenging trading in, in here. And if you're brand new to trading, it might be a good reason to just be kind of sitting on the sidelines. You know, pop some popcorn and watch the show um, until we get through that FOMC announcement and maybe pick a direction here in the market. Um, let's take a look on the economic calendar. We have no help here really on the economic calendar today. We have the FOMC meeting kicking off the Red Book and uh, Bill Auction. None of these should move the market today other than the jitters of the FOMC uh, meeting starting. On the earnings calendar, we had about 50, 53, 52 or 3 companies reporting earnings today. Um, probably the biggest is going to be this afternoon when FDX reports um, its news. I don't see anything in the, in the pre-market that's really going to give us that um, good warm and fuzzy um, in the morning here to uh, get us moving. It's going to be that aftermarket that's probably going to provide us a little bit of uh, look forward here um, in earnings. So nothing going on this morning that can really give us much help. So folks, with that, um, if this is the first time you've seen this, uh, my videos, please, you know, do me a favor and, and click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons. That really helps me a lot. And feel free to share this video with any uh, friends, family that you might think can benefit from this information. Remember, I do this every day as part of my preparation for the day, and I just happen to share it. Um, there's, there's nothing uh, particularly special about this. I'm no kind of stock guru, and I never profess to be such. Um, I just simply want to take a really good, unbiased look at the uh, at the markets and prepare for my trading day. So I, 
I have a firm belief that preparation is far more important than luck. So if you can find uh, something in this that's useful, you know, please feel free to drop me a note. Um, um, drop a comment on this. I would really appreciate that as well. Everyone, take care. Have a fantastic day. I want to wish you some great profits. And I will talk to you all very soon, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.